Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Are you still wearing a mask? Why or why not? Without a mask I am just ugly. With a mask I am mysterious. John, who's that mysterious ugly guy over there? That's ugly Pete. He wears the mask because he thinks it makes him look mysterious. We let him believe that because it makes him look a little less ugly. No but if I have to I don't get upset about it. Big same. I'm as vaccinated as I'm allowed to be and pretty confident that my largely hermetic lifestyle won't expose me to many people. But if the mandates come back in my area. No biggie. No biggie is exactly it. Why the fuck did anyone ever give a shit about wearing a fucking mask for a bit? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. I'm going through chemo. My immune system is a roller coaster. Mask stays on for the duration of my treatment. Same with my husband's mask. ETA. You people are amazing. Thank you for your stories and well wishes and everything else. I'll think about you all when I go to infusion next Monday. Fuck you, cancer. Writing this from the hospital lobby while my housemate gets his chemo infusion. I'm masking up and not doing any indoor events until he's cancer free. The vast majority of people around me are cool with that, and a lot of my co-workers who don't normally mask will put one on when I come into the room. But it's still frustrating how many people close to me think I'm being silly, and how many people in the community get mad at the idea of masking up to protect the vulnerable. The people being asked to do the least are the ones complaining the loudest. They'll say COVID safety is a matter of personal responsibility, and when I've challenged that, it's my fault if someone sneezes on me. The answer's been that I should leave my job of 10 years so they don't have to mask up, and if I don't like that, it's because I'm entitled. It's startling to me I love being barefoot, but I've always put shoes on to go to a store or restaurant. Yes. I work in a school. Kids are plague rats. I took my mask off for two days when my school removed mask requirements. I immediately got the flu. Schools are cesspools pools of illness. I took mine off for a day, and then a few days later I got a cold so bad it gave me arthritis and mayo I learned my damn lesson. Public transport is gross and I have to use it to get around. This maskless guy on the train this morning was near me coughing up a lung during the whole commute and I was really tempted to say if anyone should be wearing a mask, it's you. I get the maskless guys. If they don't believe by now that the masks help, nothing's going to convince them. What I don't get is the ones who still wear the masks on their chins on the train. They're not required anymore, why make the statement that they don't know how to wear a mask? I've seen guys take off their mask to cough. My new co-worker training me is gross. He talks heavily so I feel his breath and spit. It doesn't get rid of the smell from his bad breath and it might not protect all of my face or my arms from his spit but it does protect my mouth from his spit. Have you tried offering him a gum? Bring a few different gums and offer them. Yeah but because I've been on chemo, not cancer, my meds are just low dose chemo, for the last 15 years. I wore masks before it was cool. Fucky copycats. Yes, for a few reasons. I've been mouthing fuck you for two years now, and I'm not sure I can stop. My teeth are a mess and they make me self-conscious. But it's mainly because I'm immunocompromised and I have really enjoyed not having so much as a cold. My resting bitch face has become a snarl and I don't know how to recover from that. My issue is that I blast farts at will now. That has nothing to do with wearing a mask but it is giving me anxiety about eventually returning to the office. I cleared a grocery store all last night before I even realized I had done it. Who knew that having us in an office every day was the only thing keeping some of us civilized? Yes. As the username implies I'm an intensive care doctor. Wearing a mask costs me essentially nothing. I've worn it at work for countless hours and it has kept me safe for two years. Full disclosure I wore an N95 any time I was intubating or in a room with any other type of aerosolizing procedure, otherwise just a simple surgical mask. I'm triple vaccinated and despite exposure on a daily basis I haven't had COVID yet and although I recognize I probably will at some point I'd still like to avoid it if possible and reduce the risk of spread. Seeing a lot of terrible takes in this thread about masks not working and COVID in general. People are still dying. There's speculation we may continue indefinite continuous masking in healthcare settings I wouldn't mind this. 
It's an incredibly small price to pay to contribute to the safety of my patients and my co-workers, not to mention for my own safety. I've been a patient my whole life, born with several congenital heart defects. Now I've officially entered the medical field as a respiratory therapist. I quite honestly can't imagine being at a hospital without a mask. I look back at all my previous hospitalis RTOs and am amazed that no one wore masks back then, aside from in the awe. Hospitals are filing cabinets of disease. That's not derogatory, it's accurate. Anytime I hear someone say the hospital discharged them too quickly after a procedure, I ask why they would want to stick around. Go home where it's all your home germs. Don't stay where the big germs roam. I have allergies. And masks prevent all the pollen going up my nose and giving me respiratory problems. If it isn't COVID, it's allergies. No one's going believe my cough isn't contagious. Easier to mask up and prevent my lungs from needing to cough in the first place. Yes, immunocompromised due to kicking cancer's ass via organ transplant a few months ago. I'll be 30 soon. I'm in a place with a lot of kids that have cancer. Also, I am kids with cancer. At St. Jude's, they enforce masks, and I think that's the best possible choice here. Hey, we're at St. Jude too, my 4 yo sister is undergoing treatment right now. Wishing the best for you. Nothing is more unfair in life than sick kids. Hoping for all the best for your sister as well. Yes. I'm severely immune compromised. It's prevented me from being sick for two years, which was unheard of before wearing a mask. It also helps with my anxiety. I have asthma and these last two years were the first ones in a decade where I didn't have bronchitis or some ugly flu. Same here. It has been a godsend honestly. 1. I am a nurse and don't want to make people sick. 2. I'm a student and do not want to be sick. 3. I have a double chin. Where's my I have a slim face but excess neck fat so not only do I look disproportionate but there's nothing I can do to get rid of the flab of neck skin gang at. I feel very seen by this comment and I fucking hate it. Nevertheless, gang gang. Yes and number. Walking outside, number. Going to a mall or to do groceries, going into smaller stores ECT, then yes. Because there are now more flavors of COVID than choices at a Basky Robbins and I don't trust any of these nasty MFs around me. That's the other COVID revelation for me. I always thought of some strangers as nasty, like that guy in the men's room that finishes his business and then just walks past the sinks with his filthy hands. But, now I know most people just don't understand basic hygiene. They taught us this crap in elementary school for a reason and you just forgot. Can confirm. Traveled prior to and all through COVID for work in healthcare. Prior to COVID I was grossed out by the sheer number of men at airports that will use the restroom and not wash their hands. Nothing has changed since. Only in places where it's required. This is me. I hate wearing them but did it since the beginning, even when some places were not requiring but CDC and forward slash or force I were recommending to do so. I've taken my shots as well, except the fourth one which I plan on getting soon. Felt like crap after each shot, but still took them. And we stayed home as much as possible during the spikes. I feel like we have done everything we have been asked, and will continue to do so. Cases are very low in my area thankfully. If that changes I will change my behavior, but for now I'm not wearing a mask except where it's required. Mask off here. As a lip reader this has been horribly isolating for me. Personal choice. I'm half deaf in one ear and I had no idea how much I relied on lip reading. Same here, diagnosed with an acoustic neuroma had no idea how much facial cues and context with instinctive lip reading helped me navigate the world. My hearing aids broke a while back. I'm tired of asking people to just write it down. Yes. I'm a restaurant server and I've gotten really bad at hiding my disgust with customers. I took the mask off as soon as the mandates were lifted then started wearing them again when I noticed that a lot of retail staff were still wearing them. I assumed that they knew something I didn't or had a higher standard of cleanliness, not that they needed to mask their disgust at seeing my stupid shitty face. Retail worker, yes to both of these things. Customers are absolutely disgusting and we're most likely mouthing cuss words, mostly just because we can. I took my mask off for one day because I forgot it after the mandate lifted and had four different people comment about how I looked upset. 
Shit is staying on forever now. Yes, there was a maskless woman next to me in this public washroom blowing her nose like she was trying to lobotomize herself through her nose and coughing like her lungs needed to get out. I don't care what she has, I don't freaking want it. The mask might be minimal protection against it, but at least I won't get her spit directly on my mouth. Not saying this was the case here but having seasonal allergies during Covid really sucks. The smallest cough or sneeze because of the pollen and people treat you like a leper. 